Dr. Virginia Harrison. I'm an assistant professor of sports communication. With COVID, things are a little bit different, right? But if everything was normal, one of my favorite things to do is first discussion, right? I don't like to stand up there and lecture for 30, 45 minutes. Um, I really like to ask questions. Um, but then additionally, I like to do sort of hands-on activities, right? So in a writing class, I'm having people do writing workshops. In our sports class, um, as you know, we're doing debates and we're having sort of discussion between each other. Um, so I like it to be an active class. I don't really want to be up there uh, just giving material out to everybody, right? I like you guys to interact with me and with each other. It's more what the students get out of each class for me. You know, I don't necessarily, I personally don't need to get anything out of each class, but I want to make sure that the students come away with um, a better appreciation of what we're talking about. So there's usually a reading component to my classes and what I want the students to come away with at the end of each class is a better understanding of that reading and a better application of that reading to their, um, their real lives. That's really important to me is being able to take the concepts we're talking about in class and applying it to things we see every day or things that we're um, wondering about in the news or even a career, right? So how that might impact your career. So I think it's it's also partly what the student kind of brings to the class too. I really appreciate hard work right? and dedication. You don't have to be the smartest person. You don't have to, um, you know, write every paper perfectly or do everything perfectly, but you know, you need to ask questions um, and you need to be able to to work hard and show me that you care about what's going on or, or care about your effort, right? Um, and so thinking about what students get out of that experience, hopefully they'll come away with an appreciation for, for working hard and asking questions um, and knowing that that will help them essentially learn, right? That will help them in their careers, that will help them learn the material. Being successful is reaching out, right? And so one thing that I've really been stressing during the pandemic here is that things are weird, everybody's on Zoom or half the class is on Zoom, right? Communication is really important. And so being able to ask me questions, sending me an email if something isn't working right, you know, letting me know that something is confusing, that's kind of the big part too, is, is showing me effort and showing that you care and that's just really through communication. I will reach out directly to the student and, um, and I'll, I'll email them and say, hey, I noticed you missed an assignment or your, your effort on the last assignment wasn't as good. Do you wanna sit down and talk about it, right? And so the key thing is, I'm not trying to talk to students to make them be in trouble. It's really to help them to see that maybe there's just something that is not clicking uh, or maybe there's something going on in the student's life that um, is preventing them from putting in a full effort. And I just wanna make sure I extend a hand so that they have an opportunity um, to maybe make up or at least communicate with me that things are not going right. One thing that I do like about online classes is sort of the sharing technology. So, you know, using Google Documents or being able to use Zoom and um, allowing students to kind of meet me where they're at, right? If, if people are sick, they can still join class. Um, you know, hopefully even if it's just a cold, where, you know, sometimes being physically in class can prevent people from participating to their full potentials. I also have really enjoyed um, the discussion boards that we had on campus the first couple weeks of class. And we still will do that, but, uh, you know, I like having people respond and, and talk to each other on those discussion boards. Because I feel like I don't get to know my students as well. Um, you know, for the first couple weeks when we were just doing asynchronous classes, and even on Zoom, uh, you know, I sometimes I don't get to see the students' faces. I mean, there's some students that I haven't seen yet, you know, either on the computer or in person. And to me, again, it's about that personal outreach, right? If you're struggling, I want to know who you are and how to, to reach you. Um, and sometimes being in an online class, is students are just losing grades, as opposed to when you're in a classroom, you get to know people and, and what they're interested in and, and where they're from. and and things that make them human. Um, and the same with me, right? I think students, when they know that their professor is human, that, that can help a lot. We, we just moved to South Carolina from Pennsylvania. I've lived my whole life in Pennsylvania. Two months ago, we moved here to South Carolina um, and we bought a house. So I guess our hobby is like now keeping up the house, which we have not done. This is our first house, me and my husband. 
Um, as well as we decided to adopt two new dogs about two weeks ago. And they are a lot of work. <laughs> so we have been really unable to leave the house for more than 15 minutes at a time since adopting them because of separation anxiety and all that. So I guess my hobby is taking care of my house and taking care of my dogs right now. What's weird is, you know, I haven't seen campus at full capacity. So, you know, I don't want, I don't know what campus is like when all the students are on campus and all the faculty on campus. Um, you know, being on campus every day, I, I can get a sense of uh, what it's, I don't know my way around yet, right? So if I'm on campus every day, I can, I can walk downtown, I can go get lunch on campus and really see it at its peak. Um, another thing too is, you know, everyone's telling me about going to sporting events, going to football games, you know, they're not at full capacity either. And so feeling what a game day at Clemson is like is uh, something I would like to experience, right? And, and we won't really get the full game day experience this fall. Um, you know, at Penn State, which is where I came from, game day was, there was always a buzz around town and around campus on game day. And so um, I really want to experience that. My main area of research is um, this idea of relationship management or relationship building between organizations and people, so supporters. Um, and so that my two key areas of that are, first of all, in fundraising. So, right, so how do nonprofit organizations build relationships with donors and other supporters and how stewardship impacts that? So my big area of research is in stewardship. And then on the sports side, it's how sports organizations build relationship with people like fans. And stewardship can play a role there. I'd love to kind of dig into that a little bit more, but that's really where my area of research is. So far, I really love the people and the students that I've met. It feels a lot, I wanna say it feels a lot like home, which is, um, you know, again, I've only been here for six, six weeks, I guess, really on the job. Um, but it, everybody is really friendly, very helpful. The students are hardworking and they care, which is really, really important to me, right? You guys work hard, um, you do good work, and you care about your work, which is, you know, that's exactly what, you know, I'm looking for when I'm teaching. So all of that has been really fantastic to experience so far. You know, I've, my husband and I have come downtown and walked around and, and walked on campus. Um, one thing I really did enjoy, um, the department took me out or took our family out to a happy hour at the SO Club and that place is cool. Like I can see myself enjoying like a, a sports bar like that. So I've enjoyed that. Um, I'd like to see it on game day Wait, again. Um, and really just, I'm looking forward to experiencing sort of like the food and the bars downtown, right? I hear a lot about them and, and getting to experience sort of the excitement of the Clemson city um, is one thing I haven't done yet, but I would like to do. So when I came for my interview at Clemson, I met a couple alumni, Clemson alumni, who were staying at the hotel and they were just talking about how much they love Clemson, how loyal the alumni are, how great the students are, how wonderful this university was. And honestly, that was one of the big selling points for me in, um, you know, taking this job and coming to Clemson was the fact that you guys have such a loyal fan base, you have such wonderful students um, that alumni want to recruit, right? So clearly you guys are, are talented people that are going to go out and make a difference in the world. And so that actually really stuck out to me as, okay, this place, again, feels like home, feels like a place where I could fit in and enjoy working. And so that has really stuck with me as one of the most important parts of the interview process, I think. And, you know, a memory that I definitely will have of, of that time in, in considering uh, Clemson. Getting some hands-on experience. Um, so whether that's volunteering with a nonprofit or an organization nearby where you can kind of start working on social media, start working on writing press releases, start, um, you know, stringing for a local newspaper or blog where you're working on your journalism skills. Um, all of these things are going to be really helpful to your resume and it doesn't even need to be a formal internship. It can simply be, hey, do you need help on game day with uh, taking photos or, or running stats to reporters? Um, doing things like that that you can put on your resume is going to look really impressive to, um, to employers. And I think that that's probably, you know, again, it's one of those things that you don't get credit for, you might not get paid for but it's something that will really help you in the long run. And also will give you a sense of whether or not you want a career in PR or journalism or some other kind of communications field. Um, that's just as important as getting the experience.
I want to learn more about Clemson. You know, I asked you guys to tell me your tips for Clemson since you've been here for a little while. Um, you know, I really want to get to know the university. I want to get to know the students. I am upset that so far with the pandemic, it hasn't been, you know, a full experience. Um, and I would just like students to know that they can reach out to me, you know, anytime, particularly my students in class. I am always open and, and ready to help people with career advice, you know, reading over resumes. Um, I typically give that privilege to people in my classes, but certainly anybody in the department um, can reach out to me with any questions. Um, I did work in sports journalism and uh, PR and fundraising, so I'm happy to give any kind of help people interested in those careers. So that's that's kind of, you know, one thing I want you guys to know is that um, I think any professor, but, you know, particularly I know that I'm interested in helping you guys uh, succeed after, after school and after concept.